Hello class, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to solve and graph linear inequalities with one variable. So when we say inequality, it is a statement that one quantity is greater or less than another. So normally, makakakita tayo dito guys ng mga symbols na less than, greater than, less than or equal, and greater than or equal. Okay? So, let's have example number 1. We have 2 times x minus 3 greater than 4x plus 8. So, bago natin mag-graph yung inequality, unang yung gagawin dito is we need to solve the values of x. Okay? So, para magawa yun, kailangan ma-isolate natin yung ating x dun sa mga numbers. Okay? So, ang first step natin dito is we need to eliminate the parentheses by distributing 2 dun sa ating binomial. So, we have 2x minus 6 greater than 4x plus 8. Then, ang next step naman natin is lahat ng may variables dadali natin sa left side ng ating inequality, then lahat ng constant sa right side. So, in our case, si 4x dadali natin sa left side, then si negative 6 sa ating right side. So, we have 2x. So, yung 4x from positive magiging negative. Greater than 8. Next is yung negative 6. Kung negative siya sa left side, pag nilagay natin sa kanan, we have positive 6. Okay? Next, combining like terms, we have negative 2x greater than 14. So, to solve for x, Gagawin natin is divide lang natin both side of our inequality by negative 2. So, cancel out. We have x, then 14 divided by negative 2, that is negative 7. So, dito guys, kailangan maging maingat kayo. No? So, tandaan, sa inequality, pag nag-divide tayo or nag-multiply ng may negative, kagaya dito, nag-divide tayo ng negative 2, yung ating inequality symbol na greater than, magiging less than. Okay? So, again, tandaan nyo na, pag nag-multiply or nag-divide kayo guys ng may negative symbol dun sa denominator or kung ano man, mare-reverse yung ating inequality. Okay? So, ang final answer natin na natin dito is x less than negative 7. Okay? Then, after natin masolve si x, mag-graph na natin yung ating inequality. So, we have x negative 7. So, ang ating graph dyan is open circle tayo, which indicates that the point is not included in our solution set. Since wala naman tayong equals to negative 7. Okay? Then since less than yung ating ginamit, meaning going to the left tayo. Okay? So ito yung ating graph ng ating inequality. So next, let's have example number 2. We have 10x plus 1 all over 3 greater than or equal to 2x minus 5. So, pag isasolve natin to, ang first move natin is we need to eliminate the fraction. So, para matanggal natin yung fraction, ang gagawin natin is imumultiply natin both side of our, our inequality by LCD. So, since isa lang naman yung ating denominator dito, so, ang gagamitin na kagad natin dito is yung 3. Okay? So, cancel out yung 3 dito sa left side. So, we have 10x plus 1 greater than or equal to. So, distribute natin yung 3. We have 3 times 2x that is 6x minus 15. So, next, i-move natin lahat ng may variable sa left side then lahat ng constant sa right side. So, we have 10x. Then, we have positive 6x from the right. So, pag nilipat yan, we have negative 6x greater than or equal to negative 15. So, positive 1. Pag nilagay sa kanan, we have negative 1. Okay? Then, combining like terms. So, that is 
4x is greater than or equal to negative 16. So to isolate x, divide both sides of our inequality by 4. So makakancel yung 4 dito. We have x, then negative 16 divided by 4, that is negative 4. Dito guys, ang dinivide natin is positive, which is 4. So hindi mababago yung ating inequality. Okay? So, tandaan, mare-reverse lang ang ating inequality kapag negative yung ating denominator. Okay? So, after natin masolve yung x, pwede na natin i-graph yan. So, that is negative 4. So, since may equal tayo dito sa ating inequality, ang gagamitin nating point is shaded, which means na, in na included si negative 4 sa ating solution set. Then, since ang final answer natin is greater than, so ang ating graph is going to the right. Okay? So, next, let's have example number 3. y over 3 plus 5 over 2 less than 3y over 4. So, dito guys, kumuha pa nyo marami tayong denominator. Okay? So, ang first step natin dito is we need to eliminate all the denominators. So, para ma-eliminate natin yan, kailangan natin si LCD or, or yung ating least common denominator. So, since may tatlo tayong denominator which is 3, 2, and 4, ang ating LCD dyan is 12. Okay? So, multiply natin both sides of our inequality by 12. So, tignan nyo kung paano, paano natin masisimplify yan. So, ang gagawin ko dito, i-divide ko si 12 dun sa denominator, then i-multiply ko yung quotient doon sa kanyang numerator. Okay? So, try natin. 12 divided by 3, 4, then 4 times y, we have 4y. Okay? Then plus... Next, k 5 over 2 naman. 12 divided by 2, 6. Then, times 5, that is 30. Okay? Next, k 3y over 4. 12 divided by 4, we have 3. Then, times 3y, that is 9y. Okay, so next, isolate natin si y, or lahat ng y, lagay natin sa left side, then lahat ng constant sa right side. So in this case, lipat natin si 9y sa left, and si 30 dun sa right side. So we have 4y, then 9y going to the left, we have negative 9y, less than negative 30. Combining like terms, we have negative 5y is less than negative 30. So, to isolate y, di-divide lang natin si negative 5y by negative 5 para makancel yung ating coefficient. So, we have y, negative 30 divided by negative 5, that is positive 6. So, again, since yung denominator natin or yung ginamit natin pang divide is negative, so, yung ating inequality is mag mapapalitan from less than to greater than. So, this will be our final answer. So, to graph, this y greater than 6. So, kung ito yung ating 6 sa ating number line. So, since wala namang equals dun sa ating final answer, ang gagamitin lang natin is open circle which means na yung 6 is not included in our solution set. Then we have greater than, so ang ating line or ang ating solution set is going to the right. So this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!